Hey everyone, welcome back to the Might and Magic 6 completionist run. Said uh, in the last episode we would be doing the Mordred quest. And indeed that's what we that's what we will be doing, but as has often been the case, we do have some uh, some chores to take care of before that. Good day. However, we are going to start by picking up the quest first. This quest, by the way, is uh, from a person by the name of Zoltan Phelps, same name as our Archmage. I guess they might bond over that, who knows. But we're going to pick up this quest from him. He lets us know that somewhere west of Castle Temper, a Castle Temper, I believe, is where Osric Temper is currently residing, the guy who gives the knight promotions. So somewhere to the west of that, is I believe it's called the Dragoon's Keep and he says the artifact is to be found over there. We will be going there pretty shortly. Before we do that, there's one thing How are you? I wanted to do. Wanted to pick up the Thank you. Earth Guild membership because that is uh one of poss uh, that is possibly the last guild whose membership we had yet to buy. Before we do anything else, though, let's go to the Guild of Earth. Let's learn Earth Magic. Actually, no, let's go back in. I'm just gonna buy every single spell. The reason being that it's uh, yes. a lot more efficient yes. this way compared to yes. okay. checking each okay. individual spell. Because if there are any yes. spells left over at the end of this, I'll just sell them all. Okay, so we've got a yes. few extra copies of those spells. Yes. This was left over from before. Okay. And we are actually going to do this. Body, the magic of For every guild. Ooh, this is quickly gonna get out of hand, isn't it? Okay. Okay. But you know what? Good show. You know what? It's fine. We're only gonna have to do this up until we uh Okay. Good show. Up until we... Oh boy, that's a lot. Uh, if I can remember how to speak. Up until we uh, have every spell in every character's spell book. I'm just gonna go here and while this place is still open, sell this stuff. And let's sell all the books that we uh, Thanks. Come again. didn't end up using. So, it's not weapon? actually costing us anything if come we again. buy a spell book that we don't, don't need. Because we can always come back, come back to New Sarpagal and sell them at their exact price. So what did we do? We did Earth and we did a Body. Let's go and do the rest of the guilds that are down here. Uh, the magic of light. I already know that Starburst is a waste because both of our people with air magic already know Starburst. But you know what? I clicked yes. too quickly. I clicked okay. too quickly. Okay. Okay. The rest of these, yes. most of them are going to be used by one of these two although these ones are not yes yes okay another copy of starburst that's okay that is just fine uh shouldn't oh yeah i was thinking shouldn't there be the fire guild but yes it's right here meteor shower i'm not going to buy because uh, i already know it's not 
gonna be useful to either of them. Torchlight might be, flame arrow might be, haste almost certainly will be. Okay. Okay, that's not useful. Yes. But that is. Yes. This is. Okay. That is. That's not. Do both of you know Fire Blast? Let me just check. You know Fire Blast, and you know Fire Blast. All right, we're actually made pretty good progress on on that spell school. Now water. I think this one. I'm just gonna buy everything. Town portal. I'm pretty sure both of them know. Not sure about poison spray. Not sure about awaken. Or let's see if this is okay. Gonna be good. Oh, you both already know. Ice, you already know ice bolt. Yes. All right, acid burst. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yes. That's good. Yes. That's good. I bought an extra copy of enchant item that I didn't need. Okay. That's good. How many copies of the spell did I buy? Wow. Okay. Alright, what's water magic looking like? Pretty good, to be honest. Just a couple more left. Alright. That's the elemental guilds done. Remember, there is also uh, the spirit body and mind guilds in uh, the city we already Spirit. went to the uh, guild of uh, oh, let's just buy everything the guild of body we just need to go to the guild of spirit i can't learn that yes uh oh that's not going to be Let's start arranging them along the bottom. Just so when we buy okay. new stuff, it is easier to immediately identify which ones are new spells and okay. which ones are old. Okay. Guardian Angel. Pretty useless spell. Raise Dead is yes. most certainly a useful spell. You already know Shared Life. Okay. But now you know it too. Lastly, uh... The Guild of Mind. I frequently forget where this one is, but this time Mind, the magic I was able to get there pretty handily. Charm. Okay. Give to you first. Yes. Your insanity. You already know telekinesis. Well, you both know telekinesis. Okay. Okay. Now you know Cure Paralysis, paralysis as well. Psychic Shock is a good spell. Mind Blast. Sure, I'll buy two of these. Meditation, why not? Remove Fear. Alright. Yes. Okay. Okay, Mass Fear good show. goes to you. You already know Meditation. Mind Blast. Okay, another copy of Mind Blast that I didn't need. Yes. Psychic Shock goes to you. Mind, the magic of that is every spell. And I think you know Cure Parala Paralysis as well. Yes, you do. Okay, is it... Oh, if we're quick enough, we can go to the shop before it closes. Please. Can I yes. And now we can sell once again Thanks. all of the ones that we didn't need. Okay, with that, you know, intense excitement out of the way, next step in this episode is uh, we have some looting to do. Can we assist you? So, in recent episodes, we cleared uh, be with you. Dragon Sand and Hermit's Isle for the first time. 
In addition to that, we also uh, re-cleared Paradise Valley. And in all of those areas, I left chests just lying... Well, I left bodies just lying on the ground. I looted the chests in uh, uh, Paradise Valley and in uh, Hermit's Isle. Did not loot the chests in Dragon Sand. There are gonna be five of them. Very nice. Very nice. And in addition to possibly good items, we're also gonna get a bunch of gold, of course. I'm not gonna be messing with these fountains just yet, because before we can do anything with those, I'm gonna need two separate copies of the Resurrection spellbook. And unfortunately, the Spirit Guild this time did not have even a single one. Got it. Well, what have we here? Very nice. Just uh, oh. just more stuff to sell. Okay. So, in terms of where to find chests in Dragon Sand, you'll find one on each of these islands, and you'll find two in that large area that was guarded by, you know, dozens of dragons. I think we've done both of the ones on the upper two islands. The last one is going to be somewhere on this island. The chests can be hard to spot, especially with this weather effect. And against the gray color of the uh, of the terrain, this volcanic terrain. But once you're close enough, and especially if you're at ground level, you know, when the chest sticks up, Got it. it's not that hard to spot. Ooh, could this be a useful spell book? Very nice. Nah, we already know it. Very but nice. we can sell it. Very Indeed, nice. we can sell that as well. Very nice. I was not expecting that to have a good enchantment on it, but that's nice. Okay, now that I've looted, well, I haven't looted all of the chests. I've only done the one, the ones on the islands. Let me loot the other two chests up here before I move on to what I was going to say. Here is that massive collection of dragons. And we've got some more, uh, a couple more chests. And more stuff to sell. Very nice. And the other chest is right here. Very nice. Ooh, this is a great, uh, Enchantment, but unfortunately, I want it on this type of dagger because uh, it's a better kind of dagger. So I'm, I'm just gonna sell this one. Okay, now what I was gonna say is that now that I've looted all the chests, what I, I'm now going to do is I'm going to loot all of the bodies on the ground in Dragon Sand, in Hermit's Isle, and in Paradise Valley. The reason I'm gonna do that is number one, from the high level monsters. We might get equipment that's actually useful to us. As you saw, this is one of the enchantment types that I'm looking for, but I do want it on the top tier uh, items. The other reason is, and this is the reason I'm going to be looting all the bodies here, including, you know, low level hydras and you know, thunder lizards and stuff like that, is because I am adding a new objective for myself in the series. Now, I have already said that we probably have more money than we are gonna know what to do with. And that is pretty much true. However, my objective now is that I want to end this game with more than a million gold in my possession. And the distinction there is that we are eventually going to be spending large, large, large amounts of money on training to the order of hundreds of thousands per character and that's gonna add up and if we don't keep up with collecting gold we will dip below a million and then it'll be hard to get back up unless we've been consistently picking up gold the whole time so that's 
that is the main reason that I'm gonna do this uh, tedious ex exercise. It's gonna take me, I'm gonna guess, about 20 minutes to do this uh, entire uh, clearing because each time my inventory fills up I'll have to town portal back and sell my stuff and that's just gonna be uh, a long process. What I will do what I will do though is I'm gonna put this video on pause and at the end of it I will let you know what interesting stuff I found if any. I was gonna give you this. I don't know why it was just lying outside. But anyway, video going on pause now. When I see you, uh, all of these three areas are gonna be fully looted, and uh, we'll see if I find anything cool. All right, see you in a bit. Taking things off pause just to show you that a whole day has gone by. I've sold a bunch of things. I've cleared out all the looting in. Uh, Hermit's Isle. Light, the magic of I've light. come here just to buy light magic spells. Spell magic, slow. Sunray as well. Prismatic light, probably. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's see. You have most of the light magic spells. The only one you don't have is this one and this last one. The last one we won't get until much later. Light, the magic of good. Remaining ones are not that interesting to us. All right, I'm gonna now go and loot Dragon Sand and then Paradise Valley and then when I'm done looting all of them, I'll be back with you. All right, see you in a bit. Alright, taking things off pause, just to let you know all of Dragon Sand is looted. We are now over 2 million gold. Found a lot of useful items, but I'm gonna wait until I have also looted Paradise Valley before showing them all off, because there's some, uh, some good stuff, and I just want to do it all in one go. Alright, going back on pause, I will be back once Paradise Valley has been looted. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, Paradise Valley has now also been looted. I'm, I'm a little annoyed with myself because I, I I accidentally sold one item I was intending to keep. A doomsday cloak of the gods, which I was going to give to Serena. But that's okay. I also found the sovereign belt of the gods, which I will give to you in place of this. I mean, this only gives plus 5 to might and endurance. This gives plus 10 to everything. So let's just give her that and... We can sell this, or, you know what? Let's give this to you, because you don't have any belt. Other than that, let's just go... ...one by one and see what we found. I wanted to show you this. I found a Sacred Spear of Power. We... I don't think have seen this enchantment before. Its specialty is plus five level, and as you can see, if you... ...equip it, your level goes up, and with it, your uh, increments for hit points and spell points per level multiplied by 5 are also added. It's an interesting thing, but I don't want to give up pure damage on my weapon in place of that, so I will be selling this. In addition to that, I found Psychic Shock, which I don't think you know. Yes. So that's another spell checked off the list. I also found rings for mind and spirit magic, which I'm just gonna equip straight away. So that's some good stuff. Moving on to Alexis. Found a couple spells which I don't think you know. I don't think you know Inferno. Okay. And I don't think you know protection from electricity. Okay. And now you've learned both of those. That's good. Uh, you are also gonna swap out your helm of protection, uh, protection for this. Plus 10 spell points, speed, and intellect. I'd rather have the extra spell points. Speed and intellect, of course, are also good. You can see her spell points continue to rise, and I guess I don't need either of those helms anymore. Uh, don't think I'm going to need this anymore either. I'm just going to sell that. Does anyone need... Endurance armor hit points versus 
off the gods. Hmm. I'll give you these ones. Armor and hit points are gonna be less relevant later on. I think some of these items I was already holding onto from earlier. But some of them are definitely new. This one is new. A Stellar Bow of Ice. Unfortunately, didn't find any weapons of the dragon, aside from that one, uh, uh, one regular dagger that I sold because I wanted it on the long dagger variant. But this one, with 9 to 12 extra damage, is better than the 2 to 5 we're currently getting. So I will give it to you. And uh, other than that, I also found two uh, scrolls of Lloyd's Beacon, which I'm going to hold on to for a bonus video where we're going to be experimenting with game mechanics. I'm going to hold on to this until then. We also found a ring of air magic, which I'm going to equip on you straight away because I don't think you have anything boosting your air magic by itself. And you don't need hit point regeneration because you're not actually going to be holding the item that drains HP. So I'll just take this off and sell this. I'm going to hold on to the fire ring for now because you already have something that boosts fire. And at the start of next episode is when I'm going to experiment with whether these effects stack. Similarly, you found two rings of dark magic. One I'm going to equip straight away. The other one we're going to do the experiment with in the next episode. Other than that, what else? I think those are all the items I wanted to show you. I'm just going to for a weapon. go ahead and sell this excess stuff. Come again. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. And uh, I was intending to also help you find anything? go ahead Thanks. and do bounties, but let me just check something. Let me check if the mire has been reset. It hasn't. When it resets, we're going to go and pick up those uh, horseshoes, which will come back. I was going to do the bounties, but because... I spent a lot. You know what? Let's why let's go ahead and do the bounties. Why not? Because among other things, it will let us set our one of our final beacons. We want to set a beacon in Sweetwater. One of our bounties was to kill a Devil King. And that is an enemy type that we can find in Sweetwater. So this is going to be a longer video. But, you know what? All this stuff, uh, it needs to be done. Ooh, I <laughs> heard a couple of enemies I didn't loot. I'm not interested in what two regular Hydras will have to give to us. We made nearly a million gold. I accidentally also overwrote the save from my uh, previous episode, which is actually pretty bad because in case something goes wrong with this video i then will not have the option of re-recording so i better hope that this recording works well but the other thing i can't do at least not until i end the video is see how much gold we had at the start and seeing whether uh, indeed we can say with certainty that we made over a million gold in this episode I'm gonna cast some spells. Wizard Eye is good. Fly is also good. I'm also gonna cast uh, Bless. Unfortunately, we seem to be getting this weather effect with annoying regularity. Whoa, boy. And that is gonna. Devil Captain, Devil Master. We are searching for the enemy type that is called Devil King. And as you can see, these guys cast meteor shower that is one of the effects they have master king okay we have one king oh, trying to go into turn base these guys are uh, no joke let me oh. 
save over that. Are we in range? Okay, these guys are immune to fire. You're just gonna have to believe me. I'm not gonna waste spell points demonstrating that. What I will do though, um, what's your... Your light magic is at 20 and it's during the day. Do you have... And we are outdoors. Does sun ray work? Oh no, it's it's fire damage. I was hoping it would be a different damage type, but I should have guessed. Alright, let's just hit you with... Wow, that was a horrible implosion. Hopefully this one is better. I'm not going to cast Dragon Breath because I am sure that it will end up doing damage to us as well. Are you serious right now? Somebody needs to do damage to this guy. That's much better. Four damage on your employee. Are you kidding me? Come on. Guys, you've got to... You've got to step up your game. Alright. Yeah, just do your regular attacks. Don't miss, Roderick! Ugh. 13 damage on your implosion. 2 damage! Oh my god, we are getting some horrible rolls. I'm just gonna... Do damage every chance I get. Let's cast another implosion. That's not good. We are getting some awful rolls against this guy. And Roderick missing is not great. We even have Bless active. Okay, I'm just gonna save because... This could end badly. You see, you've... Taken away all of Roderick's... Mana. Which is something I don't like. That's a good implosion. Alright, let's save now. Hopefully this is also good. 27. Oh, he's doing low damage because I think you only have 4 points in air magic, yeah. So maybe you should be casting a different spell. That that one's my bad. I should have known that your skill in that was low. So some of that low implosion damage is my fault. But we've killed the Devil King. Notice that... His body, I'm gonna look down just to prove it, body spontaneously combusts and vanishes. This is why I was so careful to kill this guy and only this guy, because we then will not be able to come back and resurrect them for bounty farming. So for now, I'm only gonna kill ones that we actually need. Later on, of course, we will come back and properly clear this area, but for now, I don't want to mess with them too much. Our next two targets were uh, Greater Werewolf, which we are just gonna do in uh, the usual way. We're gonna go to Blackshire and... Will we be able to turn bounties in? No, by the time we're done with all of them, it'll be past 2 p.m., but that's okay. We're gonna be doing a quest after this, which is the main goal. Is it just me, or... I feel like in most dungeons, when you go in, it doesn't set you facing the... exit. Maybe I'm imagining things. That's something we'll see when... Uh, when we go to the Dragoon's Keep. Whether... When we enter, we're facing forwards or whether we're facing the exit. That was easy. And our last bounty, if you'll remember, was for a fire archer. Now, fire archers are found... Well, some of them are in Freehaven, but I'm pretty sure we've already looted all of them. Even in Whitecap, we've already killed and looted most of them. But I think in this you know, village that's unconnected from the rest of the map. I think there are a couple there that we killed and then just out of out of laziness did not loot and uh, 
which now will make me look like someone with tremendous foresight for having left those corpses on the ground. Yes, this is promising. I see a white body or, or a, a yellow indicator for a body. Indeed, it's a fire archer. That is very, very good. And we're just gonna... I'm just gonna do that. And you are already dead. With that done, let's just quickly rush to New Sarpagal. Let's grab ourselves a heal, and finally, we're gonna do the thing that this episode was actually about. And we are going to uh, go to Freehaven to the Dragoon's Keep. And we are going to complete a quest and find our first scripted artifact. And I'm just going to be a bit quiet as we fly towards it because I really like this music track a lot. And this is going to be one of the few chances that we'll get to listen to a fair amount of it before we have to do an area transition and the music will be set to something else. Where even are we? Okay, here we go. Here's the Dragoon's Keep. Let, let's just... Before we go and look at the entrance, it's uh, quite an interesting design, if you ask me. I guess these are supposed to be bat wings or wings of some kind. Maybe some strange eyes, but they look like wings to me. Indeed, it's supposed to be wings. The uh, drawing in there shows statues, but there are no statues in this rendering of it. But that's okay. Maybe they just didn't have time to fully do be? it. Got a bad I don't know. Straight away behind us, there's stuff on the ground. No doubt in here, there are going to be secrets that I miss. Are you, really, you guys are breaking stuff? Fixed. That's... This veteran needs to go down, and I think... I don't think any of the other guys can break our stuff. Okay, now that we've thinned down the number of enemies, the turns should go a little bit quicker. Alright. Okay, this is a, a, the central room with a lot of uh, melee enemies. Okay. Oh my, I hate enemies that break your stuff. Such an it's annoying fixed. effect. I wish you could counteract that effect by just being higher level than the enemy. By which I mean that if you're fighting an enemy that is a much lower level than you, I don't think their status effects should trigger against you. Just to make the game a little less uh, frustrating when you're going into areas that you're over level four. Oops. Okay. Oops. Oh, this guy's running. Okay. Another veteran. Why are you missing, guys? You're better than this. Are there more inside? No. What's here in the corner? An, an amulet of some kind? Very nice. That's actually pretty good. Maybe somebody can use that. Probably not, but I'll hang on to it. If nothing else, we'll sell it. Endurance and accuracy... 
Endurance is not really needed too much. Tell you what, let's go back here and let's do all of the rooms on the left. Let's be orderly with how we go through this. And again, I'm gonna leave the bodies just because it's not even worth it. This is not this is not our main source of money. All right, what's what's down here? Just a bunch of rodents. I'm just hoping to get enough distance that I could get one of my carnage ranged attacks off, but did not happen. Okay, let's cast torchlight. Okay, Might is going to start going to Alexis because she is going to pretty soon equip something that gives her a minus 40. Other stats are still going to Serena because of the horrible penalties we gave her. Flip the switch, why not? Blue is going to go to... Uh, blue is also going to go to you because I think you also took a personality hit. And... Your luck is also low, so take that. This is gonna go to you. Intellect is gonna go to Alexis. Alright, what did that switch do? I'm assuming the switch is what spawned enemies into this room because... If they were there before, I highly doubt we would have just missed them. What's in here? Probably, uh, fighters, if I'm, I had to guess. Okay. Now, let's see. Yeah, see, when we can get attacks off like this, that's the best. Oops. But when these guys get into close combat with us and start breaking our stuff, that is... Less, uh, that's less of a, uh, I mean, they'll die eventually, it's just a more of a tedious situation taking them down. A very obvious secret room there. What's inside this chest? Got it. Only gold, okay. A useless crossbow on the ground that I'm not even going to pick up. What is over here? The door will not budge. This door will not budge. So chances are we've exhausted our progress on this side and we're going to have to do something on this side. What do we even have on this side? Well, we've got a passageway leading off to the right. What's the status on our... Let's, you know what, let's cast Blessing Heroism again. With our boost in Spirit Magic, this should be giving us quite a bonus to damage, and indeed it is, and also to attack waiting. That's what I like. That is what I like. Maybe maybe that's the way to do this. Be in turn base mode and then use that as a way to hold enemies in place. Ah, see I'm Got it. I'm learning. A trapped cabinet with nothing in it. I don't know. That is hilarious. Uh oh, oh, I didn't I didn't do what I said I would, but the veteran wasn't able to do anything either, so that's okay. Alright. We've got another locked cabinet, I assume, with nothing in it. Do these beds have anything? Does not look like it. Alright, let's continue clearing rooms one by one. Again, I'm not going into turn-based mode before opening doors. I said I would, but I'm not doing it. I'm just... I'm just too... I'm in too much of a hurry. Another locked cabinet with nothing in it. How much would we get 
per veteran if we looted them. Uh, more than a hundred, but that's meaningless to us at this point. It's, it's, it's not even pocket change. That's how you do it. I don't know. Okay, a useless dagger. I don't know. A wand, sure. I can pick that up and sell it. Got it. Another locked cabinet with nothing in it. Is there some secret to this that I'm missing, or do these cabinets simply not have anything in them? That guy's glitched. And the massive area of effect on the carnage was what took him down in the end. This cabinet was not locked, but like all the others, it had nothing in it. That was nice. Took them down like bowling pins. That was a that was a strike right there. Yeah, sure. I guess you can sell that. This cabinet doesn't even seem to be something that you can interact with. So that's alarming. It makes me feel like there's something I'm missing. Oops. If close the distance, um, maybe if I run back, give myself distance, and now go into turn-based mode, I can shoot them down. That's more like it. Are there more enemies in the room? Not in the room itself, but no doubt there you will be off in this side room. Nothing there, it seems. Empty barrel. Okay. A door that we can open. Alright, now let's give ourselves space. Alright, what's going on in this room? Killed a bunch of rats. What are these barrels? Orange liquid is going to you. Uh, red liquid is also going to you. I don't know. That's pointless. Got it. This finally, for a change, had something ah. in it. Uh, ah. I'll take ah. anything that's worth more than a thousand. Chest with nothing in it. Now I am definitely concerned. I definitely feel like I am missing something here. Just due to there being so many containers here that not only had nothing in them, but were also trapped. So, this door seems to be open now. Like, not just unlocked, but just straight up open. That's where those enemies were coming through it. There was another door off to the side. It, it still won't budge. So no doubt, the switch to this is through here. Ah. I think the way to do it is to let them come and shoot them down at range. Looks like they're... well, looks like some of them were stuck at that entranceway and not able to come through. But... We were able to deal with them all the same. That switch opens this gate. Very ominous looking thing. Ooh, 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 there are a whole bunch of oh, veterans. And by a bunch, I mean two. But that was enough. There's nothing I can do to break our stuff. All right, let's. I am constantly amazed by how often our guys manage to miss, despite all the bonuses they have. This door won't budge. Okay. 
that switch. Open the door. No doubt there are other enemies inside these. Oh, I wasn't expecting more fighters. I was expecting rats. Okay, so far it looks good. There's a switch there. Also, a switch here. I guess we hit uh, both of them. Or are they the same switch? If I raise this, will this one also be raised? Yes. So it looks like those are the same switch. We're gonna leave it in the down position. What? I don't know if you saw that, but right down at the bottom it said rats. So it looks like that was a scripted trap. Huh. Does this open the door? Oh, I guess... Every time you do that, rats will spawn. And how do you leave this room? Those. Are those footsteps? I was clicking on this part of the wall. I don't know if the wall. I don't know if that's what uh, triggered uh, that encounter. It said, are those footsteps down uh, here? And then a bunch of uh, guys spawned. And now, this room is open. I've got to be honest, this is one of those puzzles similar to the Hall of the Fire Lord, where I'm not actually sure what I'm doing that's solving it. I'm just going through this dungeon, hitting whatever switch seems like it's a new switch, and just going forward. And at the end of it, I am uh, at what I assume is the end of the dungeon. Let me just save my game like this. Got it. This is Very nice. the Dagger Mordred. We're gonna pick this up. We are gonna go to... No, we're gonna go to Freehaven. Because that's where our quest is. And we are going to turn it in. The guy is... At the bottom over here, right? This is Hello. you. We turn it in. What does he say? He says, so this is the legendary Mordred. He apparently is not impressed. So he gives us 30,000 gold. And he also tells us to keep it, which is pretty, uh, pretty nice of him. It's a little bit better, well, one better than a, a normal Divine Dagger, and it also is vampiric. So it's actually slightly worse than uh, this, because we lose a bit of damage, but I'm gonna equip it on him just for the prestige of having an artifact and yes your other one is, is good so i'm gonna hold on to that one all right i think that is uh gonna be it for this episode i'm just gonna save this game up here and we are gonna call this episode good so the plan for next episode is we're gonna turn in our bounties we are gonna finally do some training, and indeed, we'll have to uh, get masteries and a bunch of skills after that. And then after we do all of that, I think it's gonna be time to clear out the eel-infested waters and get our final scripted artifact. Well, our final scripted artifact through normal gameplay. The remainder of those will come from the obelisk quest which is going to be its own separate video in fact because that scripted artifact is going to be a sword which is going to go to uh, alexis and she's going to get it probably before she even gets master sword i'm just going to get rid of this other one preemptively all right so i think that's it for that and that's the, the plan for next episode so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one 
and I hope you'll uh, join me for the next one. So, uh, until then, take care.